and dun dun dun. This I believe was my this is my 50th box. And it's where I initially set my limit. <laughs> Which I don't think lasted very long during the ordering process. Uh, I bought 30 and then I think I bought 20 more. Because I thought they were, I was just like, I'm so excited for these. And I initially said that was all I was going to do. Um, and I also, I think later on I started doing some math. Trying to figure out if I could get even close to the whole set with the 50. No, go on. Okay. Five silvers. But I still have some more boxes because I broke down and bought more. Twice, I think. Yeah. So, um, we'll just keep going. Classics. Gold. Robert Burridge. Nice rookie there. Out of 25, Zoe Andike. Red out of 75. Sorry, I got distracted. That's easy to do. Number one, bookend out of 25, J. Yeti Redding. Nice one there. I don't have this card yet. That's awesome. Climo, Doss, Jenkins, Cam Todd, and David Feldberg. Five way iconics base out of 100. And we got a gold, Philo Brathwaite, gold historics, Philo Brathwaite, out of 6 out of 10. I think I still need the base Philo. Pack 2, a little tight. A little tight on that end, too, so pretty rare, 1 out of 20 packs. I have to do this, I don't like to, but you can usually tell if you got the cards out of the way. And then working them out is the difficult part, making sure not to damage them. I think I got them all that time. All right. Albert Tom, classics out of 100. Adam Hammes, blue. Oh, almost lost that. Blue out of 50. Nate Sexton, timeless, out of 50. Simon Lazat, iconics base out of 100. And a J Yeti Redding base out of 100. Zoe Andite Classics out of 100. Bradley Williams, red out of 75. New Timeless Auto for me, Eric McCabe out of 50. Jessica Weiss, black out of 25. And a Maria Oliva base out of 100. Pack four. Classics, Drew Gibson out of 100. David Wiggins, blue, out of 50. Oh, well, Stu, I might hit you up. There is a Reflections, Paul Ulibarri and Kale LaVisca. Just got one a couple boxes ago. Numbered out of 25. So that's a duplicate for me. Scott Stokely Iconics Base. Might still need that one. Zoe Andike Historics out of 100. Father of the game, number one. That's a duplicate. I think I only need number six now. Oh, we got an artifact. Uh, Golden Era, Ed Hedrick, red. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It's the Ed Hedrick pack. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 25 out of 25 with that patch. Are you kidding me? That is possibly one of my favorite cards out of this whole set. It's not even the rarest. That is so awesome. I did see his gold. I think his gold artifacts was, a, or one of them at least, 
was a piece of his disc that contained his ashes. So the disc was already a memorial, like a, it meant to be a memorial for him. And they put his ashes in some Frisbees. And I actually own, um, I think they were Frisbees or were they? There might have been two different kinds, but I bought some uh, a few years back from DGA just because I was like, I got to have a piece of history. And now I get one of his artifacts cards with a shirt in it. That's awesome, especially that shirt. I'd like to see some footage with him in it. That would be pretty cool. Uh, Val Jenkins Iconics base and a Ken Climo base. That's a great way to end my night of recording. Box 50. Uh, so many good cards. And I've opened a lot and I keep getting surprised by new stuff. So um, I still, you know, there's some rare cards out there that uh i haven't gotten i've only gotten one royalty so far um but all in all this is just a great product and as you all know i'll be trading to complete my sets going for every base subset at the minimum and i'd like to complete all the auto sets uh at least the base the base auto set um uh, meaning the lowest numbered one or highest numbered one so Iconics Auto, but not the gold Iconics. Um, and then Reflections out of 25. And Timeless out of 50. And I think that's it. Oh, the uh, Relics also, because they're Autos and Relic. So um, I've got a lot of extras, a lot of duplicates already on eBay. All the Autos and, and the high dollar auto cards are all listed on ebay uh with a buy it now price and a best offer so don't be ashamed to uh afraid to make me an offer if you see something you like i'm still kind of evaluating the values of everything there have been some volatility in the market um just trying to figure out where it settles out at least initially no one knows where they're going to go long term uh we can only predict but so far, disc golf trading cards have uh, done nothing but go up. So um, you see my other YouTube videos showing you all the cards going back to 2016. And then a few random car random sets like Avery Jenkins and Topps Allen and Ginter 2010. And then 1993 to 1996 also had some old ones. So... Please like, share, subscribe, check out all those videos if you're into, you know, 10, 10 to 15 minute videos showing a, a group of cards. Uh, you can see some pretty cool stuff in there. So hit me up on social media, Mike Harrington or the Disc Golf Experience, and we'll start to work some trades. Uh, as I've said before, I'm basically trying to get as diverse of a collection as I can get. So I want as many unique cards as possible. Um, so I, I had to pick and choose what I was going to go for with the bricks and stuff because it was going to be way too expensive uh, to go for everything. But uh, I think I settled on a pretty good, pretty good assortment that will leave me happy uh, and content. So hit me up. That's it. Sorry, I'm going for the wrong stop.